Hello there, my Aquarius Collective. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What's up, Aquarius? You can ring my bell. Ring my bell. Ring a ling a ling. Oh, Aquarius, we got some good energy with you guys. Look at that. Is that the sun at the bottom of the deck? Uh huh. Happy days are here again. Ooh, this is like glow up energy. Okay, Aquarius. So, whatever the fuck it is you're doing, keep on doing it, Aquarius. It is your season. Mm. Gone are the sad days. Gone is that sort of scorpionic energy, right? Any sort of uh, moodiness, sadness, doubt, fear. Uh, get ready to let that sun shine in, okay? So let the sun shine in. Face it with a grin. Frowners never lose. Oh. Uh-oh. And smilers always win. Uh-oh. Ooh, reversal energy. Uh-oh. Whatever happens... Yeah, look at that. Seven of Cups with... Ooh, so, okay. Uh, damn, Aquarius. You're going to have to burn through any fog of illusion that's out there. You notice some sort of fog clouds... Uh, around that, you gotta burn through that shit. Okay, Aquarius, shit got a little real. God protects me and God fights my battles. No weapon formed in spirit or physical against me shall prosper. I'm highly favored and protected from all evil. As is my beautiful Aquarius collective. So Aquarius, kind of, you gotta, you're gonna have to work through this illusion. You're gonna have to let that happiness sort of burn away that, that fog of, uh, yeah, that, uh, With that eight of pentacles here, some of you Aquarians may need to focus on on uh, getting through this this sort of uh, disillusionment energy around you. I mean, counterbalance that shit with happiness. If you're feeling kind of bleh, you can't. You're, you're feeling emotionally a little all over the place. You need to just kind of focus in on one. Um, You're getting that opportunity. You're definitely going to be given that sort of uh, bright light of the sun to burn away the fog. But you're going to have to, some of you are going to have to really focus in and work on it. That could be an issue that you're going to have to just deal with, right? You're going to have to work through that sort of uh, haze of confusion. Whatever it is that might have you uh, feeling uh, doubtful. Uh, some of you feeling a little uh, confused, a little uneasy, a little unweary, especially if it's coming to your work, since we did have the Eight of Pentacles there. But some of you Aquarians, you're going to have to, to kind of work through that energy, okay? This is what wanted to come out, the strength of the lion there. Uh, definitely Leo energy here. Be strong and persevere, and that sun will come out, and that's... It's like you counterbalance that confusion by at least focusing in on what you know to be real, what you know to be true in your life, in your situation, whatever is bringing in that confusion. It's like focus on one thing, kind of reel it in, right? You see how she's taming that lion? That's what you're going to have to do. That's where your strength is really going to show through and it's really going to help uh, uh, bring about that positive change. What's the bottom of the deck? Yeah, that's what's going to bring in that positive change. But, I mean, you you got to freaking be happy as fuck. That's the only way you can counterbalance uh, any of that sort of negative energy, any of that fear, any of that doubt you got coming in. Because a lot of it, it's going to be doubt and confusion being sent your way. Yeah, you got to get rid of that shit, okay? You got to throw that shit in the trash. You got to end that. This is sort of that judgment-free zone. For a lot of you, quit over-judging yourself. Quit quit focusing on things that your weaknesses. Focus on your good points right now. Whatever you got to do to kind of uh, get over that sort of uh, disillusionment energy. Uh, some of you, this could be dealing with someone wanting to come in, work uh, love life on this, and try to bring an apology or try to confuse you emotionally. So if you haven't done the healing work, 
and you're trying to get into a relationship or someone's wanting to kind of come in and interact with you one way, shape or form. If you have any shadow of a doubt or this person kind of brings up that 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 sort of red flag energy, just don't give to it. Yeah, uh, like shine the light on that shit. Do whatever you have to do. Just stay the fuck away from that. Yeah, you got to walk away. That right there is where your strength is going to lie. Being able to walk away. And just, you know, you're going to take your chances. Having that faith and trust that uh, things are going to work out on your behalf. Especially when it comes to someone just trying to confuse you or emotionally keep you stuck in an energy that you don't need to be in or that you don't want to be in. If it causes you to sit there and pause and think about it or even get even remotely uh, emotionally kind of uh, triggered, don't. Don't even go there. It isn't worth the fucking trouble. Focus on you right now. You could be getting some communication coming in. <sighs> could be heavy Capricorn energy. I feel like this is someone that you probably had a very... Uh, codependent connection to or some kind of attachment to that wasn't to your benefit. You're kind of being stuck so you can see that. Or you're going to be seeing that when the sun comes out. In that, that inner strength, your ability to move forward is where you were actually going to uh, shine. That's where you're going to be able to, to kind of handle this situation. Because someone's going to want to come in. King of Cups here. Two of Swords. Uh, this is that sort of a blinder energy. You're going to have to trust. Yeah, what's on both sides of this? Look at that. Don't let someone come in right now and kind of fuck up your, your sort of mental clarity. Right? It's like you're going to have a choice to make. You can either move forward or you can turn your ass around and go back where the hell you came. But where's the sunshine at? You have, this is, uh, this is exactly that energy. Of don't let someone come in. And for some of you, it's going to be a King of Cups type energy uh, that is going to want to come in and, and emotionally make you feel a certain way. I do feel like this is reconciliation energy, someone from the past, because we have the devil card show up. So this is someone that you had a, a, a tie to, a connection to, which wasn't to your benefit. They're going to try to come back around, Aquarius, and you know what? Let that shit go, because if it really feels like this person just wants to put you in this stuck energy, right? This is like they just want to come in and piss on your parade. Whether they have good intentions or not don't really matter, because if it's going to put you in this type of energy, do you need it? And this person probably knows you don't want shit to do with them, uh, but they're going to show their ass back up. You keep focusing on you. And your happiness. Fuck this person, okay? Especially if they put you in that two of swords energy, which makes you feel stuck, trapped, unable to move the fuck on. Okay? If you gotta think that damn much about it, your ass needs to just leave it where the fuck it is. Because that sun card come up on you at the beginning. It didn't really come up on a relationship. Especially one that was very codependent and just, it wasn't to your higher good. Whatever the hell the situation was. Work, love, life, right? You're going to have to be able to take whatever communication comes in, whatever comes your way, and be able to, to move freely and stay stay very this this is stay stubborn and whatever the hell you believe whatever the hell you think whatever the hell you said whatever uh uh sort of a line in the sand you drew with this person you need to stay fucking pretty damn stagnant or pretty damn uh stationary on that because they're gonna want to come in but they only want to come in because they see you moving to someplace good they like hey aquarius can i go stay in the sunshine with you because look look at that king of cups look at that energy around that king of cups they ain't happy they ain't happy at all here you all got all this happiness around you and you got options right this could be someone wanting to come in and ride on your coattails. Look, look at the way he's even looking. Like, hey, Aquarius, I want what you have. Aquarius, Aquarius, I want what you have. 
you know, leave some motherfucker behind, right? If it if it emotionally causes you pause, you don't need to go there. At least not right now. Six months to a year. That will of fortune, are you going to hop on it and go get you some good karma? Or are you going to go back to the same old shit, Aquarius? You got the chance. Someone's watching. Some of you all need to be focusing on your own damn wish fulfillment. Your own spin on that will of fortune. Uh, probably single. Nine of Wands. Someone's going to come in real quick. They're thinking about it. Ten of Pentacles. Again, this could be work, love, life, y'all. The Star card. And the Ace of Pentacles. Yeah. It's like as soon as things start going good for you, Aquarius, and there you are showing up. Uh, that's when somebody wants to come back in. Because you're creating such beautiful energy here. Some of y'all could be a Virgo. Good Lord. Princess? This is, the, this is what you're bringing in, or what you could be bringing in, right? Do you really need someone coming in from the past? Now, that's the hermit mode energy. Someone watching, gawking, stalking. They're seeing your happiness. And they're seeing what the hell's coming towards you, Aquarius. And they want to jump on your damn coattails. So even that hermit energy is kind of sad and just... I want to go where Aquarius is. I want to go be happy with Aquarius. If you got to think about it, if it don't freaking make your heart sing and make you feel good, you don't need that. You don't need it. You don't need it. Not right now. Focus on you. Don't let someone come in and cock block your blessings. Yeah, high priestess. They're going to try to manipulate your, your happiness, your outcome, right? Where the hell was this person when you didn't have shit? Where the hell was this person when you was sad and going through it? They weren't no fucking way around. And now you're doing good and they want to show the fuck up. Mm-hmm. A lot of you have been waiting for these blessings to come in. Don't be fucking it up by going in the past. Isn't that King of Cups energy? That You know, just because someone comes back don't mean you got to take the ass back. Okay? You, that's not a guarantee, y'all. I don't care whether that if someone's can, if someone's changed, good for them. The next person can figure out if they've changed or not. You don't have to be their guinea pig. You focus on the good that you have coming in, and don't let someone come in that's going to confuse you and take you off uh, what you know to be the right thing for you to do. Right? If you if you second guess, if someone comes in and you don't automatically want to take that cup, then you just you just say not 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 now. Tell them six months to a year. Maybe, maybe six months to a year. This is manifesting energy. What are you working on? Is love really what you need right now? I don't like that energy, Aquarius, because I feel like they're only showing up because your shit's going good, and they ain't happy where the fuck they at. Whatever the hell that is, right? Work, love, or life on that. You got great opportunities, great things coming towards you. There's that high priestess energy. You know, I'm speaking the damn truth. A lot of you know, you know, someone's going to try to show their ass back up. You don't need someone to tell you that. You already know. You already fucking know. Mm. So there you go. You have plenty enough time to tell them no in whatever language you want to, okay? Um, mm. See, if you already know, you're already getting that sort of sixth sense. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Yeah, you better, you better... They keep saying better walk away while you can. Cause your heart's in control and you don't understand. Yeah, you just need to move the hell away from that energy and go be happy. Cause if you went on that journey, someone would just keep your ass stuck. Waiting. Probably a Leo you're dealing with, okay? You got the strength behind you. You overcome this situation, whether it be with this person, someone from the past. It's got to be someone from the past because you're sitting here. You know this. You know someone's going to be coming back in and try to make an offer. You're already getting that sort of energy. You know. You know a motherfucker's going to try to come back in. Ooh. And I say that because that's probably what you're calling somebody. You know. You're like, mm, now that things are good, you're going to try to come back. 
Oh, you ran your ass away when things weren't good, right? They just want to keep you stuck. So, you know, come on, Aquarius. You got some good things coming. Stay focused on the good and, and fuck any of that reconciliation right now. Some of y'all fuck love. It'll find you when it's meant to. Uh, and watch those that want to jump on your freaking coattails and go for a free fucking ride. You can ring my bell, ring my bell, ring a ling a ling. And that's work, love, or life, okay? You could have had a job that you moved away from, and now that you've got a better opportunity, or you're job hunting, and you got a better opportunity, and someone wants to kind of come in and keep your ass stuck, friends, family members, right? You drop their asses. And now they want to come back in? Uh-uh. Ex-lovers, partners, whatever the hell? Uh-uh. What's good for you? If things are going good for you and you're feeling good and positive and the money's good and you're feeling good and you're happy, why would you want to do that shit? If it causes you pause, you just walk the fuck on, okay? Peace, love, and light, Aquarius.